Start off with giving all praises, honor, and glory to you. How will Bashi be on shy? Double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. The Heavenly Father is the ultimate chess player. He uses people, he uses platforms to mark a lot of you individuals out there. Now, a lot of people often hear me speak, uh, speak on and, or say, when we out there preaching is that this is a spiritual tag zone. It's either going to do two things. It's going to either mark you for salvation or mark you for destruction. And what do I mean by that? The ones that will be marked for salvation. See, this is all up to the Heavenly Father, right? This is not a thing of us, you know. If someone that is already marked for salvation, and maybe at that time they may not come into the truth at that very time of hearing you speak or something, it, it could be at an adversity, an adversity they may go through later on and say, you know what, maybe I need to go find out what the brothers are actually speaking of, okay, to get some understanding of what's taking place to me, myself, or, you know, or what's going on in the world. Right. That's just one example. And for another example for destruction, it could be someone that uh, start to be a mocker, a scoffer or one who just continues to give the Heavenly Father the middle finger, you know, saying, I'm going to do what the hell I want to do, not what you want me to do. Right. So now speaking on this, this these people and platforms. Right. Let's use him for example. This guy Charleston White, and you see, he has been very, uh, been been uh, made famous of what he's been speaking on, you know, uh, all throughout the internet. He has become this internet sensation. But see, you stepped in the wrong lane once you start mocking the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets. Once you start mocking your own heritage. Once you start, you know, uh, mocking with the heavenly Father has uh, put forth to our nation, to our people, to follow, which are the law, statutes, and commandments, the, the scriptures, right? Now, I'm not going to go into the narrative that he's pushing against us. Let's go into the point of the Heavenly Father using these different people and platforms to mark a lot of individuals. Because as the scriptures say, let's get it. You can do nothing against the truth but for the truth, right? <clears throat> I 
That's what I thought, right? Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So this was happening, uh, you know, with this platform. Let's say with this guy, uh, uh, Charleston White, right? You have, it's marking a few individuals or how many, how, how many ever the Heavenly Father wants to be marked for salvation, to eventually to repent, to come into the truth, whether they be cut through the spirit. You know, when they, when they say, wait a minute, who are these individuals that he's speaking of? Let me go find out. You got some cases where someone say, let me go get some entertainment. Where they, they may think they be look, they're going for entertainment, but actually it's for them to get cut in the spirit and say, shit, they're right. I do need to change my life. Or this makes sense. You know, the hell with this guy is talking about. And eventually they repent and come in and turn to Yahweh Shem Yahweh with all true faith and sincerity. Then you got the other ones that may look at it as entertainment and continue to mock and scoff to their own downfall and destruction. Okay, but you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. So the Heavenly Father is using you as another person in another platform to do his marking. You see? And if you don't repent, Charleston White, which I highly, you know, uh, I highly... Um, think I highly doubt it. You would just be, you're just, you're just a puppet being used for the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? So you could, you, you, a lot of you people, you can mock while you at it. Hey, do what you got, do what you do. But the Lord is going to get the ultimate laugh at the end of the day. So let's read that again. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Right. And even through you people with your, your platforms, let's, let's click the guy. Let's, let's get his face since he want to he, he want to be so famous. Let's get his face. You know. As the Lord is using you, pe using you people to do the sifting process. All right. Here you go. All right. And see, the Lord is using you people for a sifting process amongst the nation of Israel. Okay. <clears throat> and a brother made a, a good point. Let's go. Let's go to that. Let's read that. You know, as you've seen it at the beginning, but I want to read it anyway and pull up a few words. Let's go to the book of Jude. Chapter one. Verse 10, it says, but these speak evil of those things which they know not, but they know naturally as brute beasts and those things, they corrupt those themselves. So, yeah, he's another individual that is a brute beast. All right. And one of the things I you know, heard him mention of uh, was uh, that, um, you know, we're very we're, we're very strict mannerly, which is true. OK, because you see the way that the world is going. We go the opposite. As the scripture says, follow not the multitude to do evil. Right? Now we know this whole world is almost, is backed by, by an anti-Messiah spirit, anti-Messiah behavior, and we're against that. Okay? We're trying to follow in the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahshua to the best of our ability, but the world is going the opposite. And yes, we have chose our side. We have chose our side. We chose to follow our power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Through the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's what the path we chose. But you chose to follow who? By all. Okay? You chose to follow by all. You chose to follow the God of this world. You see? So let's go into the word brute. It says uh, irrational, brute, unreasonable. And if individuals like this, are unreasonable all right and as a beast says what a live a live thing that is an animal and a beast you know and this is how majority of our people act they act like beasts they act like they have no sense they act like they have no order which in the order rely, uh, lies where in the scriptures you see um what did I want to get? What did I want to get? Oh, I slipped my mind. Oh, I can't think of a thing. Um, yeah, um, 
But yeah, this is you know how our people conduct themselves as brute beasts. You know, with no they run around the earth with no instruction. Okay? No guidelines, no morals, no values. But here it is, you got something to say against men that that truly hold themselves in the standard in the ways of Jehovah Bashim Yahushai. All right. Um, verse 11 says, Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward and perished in the gang saying of Kor. Let's, let's go into the word of Kor. Uh, doesn't give you too much. The Kor that is Karak, an Israelite Kor. Okay. So it says, For reward and perished in the gang saying of Kor. All right. <laughs> to get one more I can't believe I can't think of it yeah so I mean that's really much the point I didn't really have too much to speak on you know I'm not going to get this this guy too much of fame but hey like I say once you you came up and you, you spoke you know down on as you mocked your heritage as you mocked the ways of Yah Bashim Shah, think the ways you despise well guess what what you despise is ultimately going to be your destruction let's get that Book of Proverbs 13, verse 13. Who despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Okay, and you see from an individual like this guy himself, which is proud in many ways when I listen to him speak. And he makes a lot of good points of things that he do speak about how, you know, Jake is hypo Jake be a bunch of hypocrites. You know, um, Jake is uh, emotional. And talk about especially the young, the men of our nation that they're hypocrites. That you know they're emotional, okay. But on this one here, you stepped into the right playing field, you know. You stepped into the right playing field where your words will be held accountable. All right, but see that's it through the spirit. You know, I wanted to speak on this. Uh, this guy Charles Charleston White, you know, which mocked the men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets, which. You know, I don't know who specifically is he's, he's talking about, but see, that's, that, that doesn't even matter, you know, because he opened his mouth against the men of the Lord, right? That's all that matters. But the point is, as I was saying, his, his, his platform, him himself, his platform was used to do two things, was to mark, <laughs> all right, was to mark, to, to uh, you know, put the ones on the sideline of Destruction and the ones on the other sideline of salvation, right? Um, let's see. I hate the water, y'all watch me. I was shy because I found it through the spirit. <clears throat> Boom, right? Here we go, one right here. This is a uh, Joshua 24, verse 14, it says, Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve you the Lord. And if it seem unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, this is what Joshua said. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that's point blank, clear, period. Okay? So while you see through the spirit that our people want to choose to serve the God of the, their forefathers, okay? Or not Slocky, not forefathers, but the God of their fathers, the wicked ones. And we're choosing to serve who? The true living power. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see? So I just thought I'd touch on, get, get my lamb back to the spirit. More will love. Was that a fine? So next time I want to say Shalom.